Have you ever wondered what it would be like for you to live in Mexico? I lived most of my adult life in Miami in the United States and one day I was over it, started traveling and somehow ended up living in Mexico. I've been living in San Cristobal de las Casas, Chiapas for the past two years, maybe a little bit more. And this is what my life is about now. It changes the more I know, depending how my health is doing. But for the post part, this is it. Good morning, sunshine. I feel like there's things I do more intentionally now because I have the time. Living here requires patience and I would say it's the root of my slow living. I try to eat my breakfast in the sunshine. And having time for my morning routine. Part of my health morning routine. Is certainly something I'm for because I live in Mexico. Do you have time for a morning routine or just self-care in general in the mornings as you sip your coffee where you live? Good morning, sunshine. We're spending the day together today. We'd love to know where you live. We're doing the gym. We're doing... Oh, I'm getting a tattoo. And then dinner, maybe dancing. I don't know, whatever comes up. I'm just glad you're doing it with me. And honestly, this might end up being a Mexico in appreciation video because most of the things that we're doing today are things that I probably wouldn't do if I lived in the United States. Now I walk most places here, but the gym is like an hour walk from my house. And why do you go so far, Karen, you may ask? And that's because I have an autoimmune disease. Working out is painful, like, I want to cry afterwards. So I got a personal trainer and this particular personal trainer I was friends with before he started training me and he happened to work at a gym that was really far away. So totally worth it. He's the first personal trainer that has ever, ever called me to see how I was recuperating. He's seen me cry <laughs> and I know, I know, I'm not a crier, I promise. It just hurts sometimes. Or I'll feel like I'm gonna pass out. Anyhow, I've tried walking there, but it's too much. Cause then I feel worse. So, so we're taking a cab. Which is perfectly fine because it's only 50 pesos, sometimes 60. And it's a luxury I get to have because I live in Mexico. Otherwise, my car and car insurance would run about $800 a month. How much are taxes where you're from? The gym is also a luxury that I get here. Even though I do go to the gym in the United States, it is not the same kind of attention. And to be honest, I have always feared it because of my disease. All right, I'll see you later. And here they give me the time. I get to have time to actually enjoy the workout. I use enjoy loosely, but you know what I mean. They don't rush me. My personal trainer does not give me an exact block of time. Have you ever heard of a trainer that has open-ended time? I can literally go five times a week for as long as I need to. And he'd be okay with that. Might be hating life right now, but he gave me some homework to, after I can't physically anymore, focus on the love I have. Hopefully not for the gym, because there isn't much there. So in my opinion, what makes him such a great trainer is that we're so aligned. So I personally go to the gym for my health, to feel good, to make sure my body is up to par to all the activities I like to do. Which are just so many. I like to not stop and my body does not agree. But when I hit anything that I have to do and the gym just isn't that fun to me. I much rather go hiking or dancing or just not the gym. So I really appreciate him telling me to focus on love because I can do that. Love is just my thing, so I'm good. Now, do I go dancing? Do I go hiking? Yes and yes. Like these are things that are completely cool here. Obviously hiking in the US is mostly free. You have, Sometimes you have to pay park entrance, but Dancing here is super cheap. A class is only 50 pesos. How much would a class be where you're from? And then shopping. As you notice, this time I'm shopping at Walmart. If you follow me, you know 
this isn't usually my type of thing I usually go to the Mercado but I wanted to show that to me this is the luxury of living in Mexico that I have a choice between going to a Mercado or getting brands that I miss from Miami and to get fruits that have been washed in more extensive ways so I don't get sick did you know that there were Walmarts everywhere in Mexico? I didn't before I came now the tattoo I've wanted since my eldest was born, so that's 16 years. And I'm only getting it here because I can actually afford it. One of the perks of living in Mexico. I loved my Argentinian tattoo artist. Got tattooed while talking about South American anthropology. The city is full of nomads, love it. Would you get tattooed in Mexico? I know it has a bad rap. Then casually going out to dinner with a friend on a Tuesday evening for no particular reason besides that we want to check out a Venezuelan restaurant that we've never visited before in San Cristobal de las Casas and because we enjoy each other's company. Yes, if you follow me, this was before Anne left. <laughs> she lives in the United States again now. But uh, we used to do this all the time and this restaurant is so good. And if you know, I'm Venezuelan, so this totally takes me back and makes me feel at home and it's like a big cuddle and yeah love all things about this and again like this is something that i might not do just randomly on a tuesday unless i was living in mexico then the way they cook here like you know that she goes to the mercado daily and gets these things and the recipes like I've met the owner a few times. She's a lovely lady and from Venezuela. She tells me stories about her family when I eat there. So she's told me about how she's created these recipes. It's so special to have that personal touch. And again, something that you get when you live in Mexico. How many times have you been able to chat with the restaurant owner as you're eating their food? I think that is so cool. It's one of my favorite things here. Would you enjoy that? And last but not least, we went to an English pub. So no dancing for us, but we got to have some really yummy drinks. The drink I had had crickets and spice on the rim and it was made with mezcal. It was really yummy. Thank you so much guys for coming. I really appreciate your company. Love you. Bye.